welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl briah and i am back with another youtube video as you can see i do have my son right here he wanted to be a part of the video today so we're just gonna act like he's a part of the video yes so in this video today first of all let me say i know it's been well overdue my last video that i posted was about a month ago so i do apologize for me missing in action but i'm back and i'm trying to stay consistent so in this video today guys i thought i would do a video just kind of like on how i found out i was pregnant um kind of what my symptoms and signs were and how my pregnancy was so i know i had did a video um on what was it my labor and delivery and i did a video on my breastfeeding experience if you guys are moms or if you just want to know the experience of that you can head over there and watch those two videos this video is going to be a little bit more kind of like more detailed a little bit more than my labor and delivery story um just because that was just kind of like my labor and delivery it wasn't really anything about my pregnancy and how my pregnancy was how i found out and etc so without further ado if you guys want to see this video then just stay tuned and keep on watching all right guys so let me just start off by addressing how i found out i was pregnant <laughs> um so how i found out i was pregnant it was i think it was in april or may of 2016 i believe 17 yeah i'm really bad with dates i really can't remember when or around the time i know it was around april or may <laughs> what you doing i know it was around april. all right y'all i'm so sorry about that i had a call coming through so but yes yeah, so to start off i believe it was around either um April or May when I conceived, but I didn't find out I was pregnant until like the, I think it was like the middle of April. Yeah, I'm bad with dates, like I said, so I'm not honestly really sure, but I know it was either May or April when I conceived and then I found out like later on in the month that I was pregnant. So how I found out I was pregnant, the first sign that I had was... <coughs> a miss period well it wasn't honestly it wasn't really a miss period but it was like brown discharge you know if sometimes you get um like towards the end to where you're getting off your period sometimes it'll be brown or even before you start it'll be like brown first brown like dang do you just hit me in my mouth um brown discharge first and then you know you'll come on or you know that's a sign that you're about to get off your period so um I was thinking I was about to start my period, but it was just brown and normally that's how my periods were anyway because I was actually just coming, well, not just coming off birth control, but the birth control I had just got off birth control a while ago before I actually conceived. It literally took me took me a whole year to conceive, so after stopping birth control. So mind you i didn't think nothing of it i was just thinking like okay like my periods are just off because i'm you know my cycle is trying to regulate itself from getting off of birth control so when that happened i was just like you know okay so i didn't really think nothing of it but then a few days in between like the brown discharge i had noticed like a few spots of blood and it was bright red but it wasn't like period blood it was just kind of like you know just some spots um so i was like hmm you know that's kind of odd um i was thinking like to myself like that's kind of odd like that's never really happened before so that was kind of like the first sign of to where i knew i was pregnant but i wasn't like really thinking like okay like i might be pregnant like i wasn't thinking that so I was just thinking, you know, it's because my birth control is just has my cycle all messed up to where I have to get used to, um, where I have to get used to, um, like my cycle, you know, going back to normal or whatever after stopping birth control. So, um, so that was like the first time. And then I remember going out of town. I went out of town like that weekend and I actually thought I came on my period because I actually had took like a bath or whatever and i had noticed like i was bleeding a little bit but it it was a little bit more than what the spots were so i was thinking like okay yeah no i'm not pregnant i'm maybe just starting my period but then 
it actually stopped. So like the next, I think it was that next or that night or the next day. I'm sorry y'all if I keep looking off to the left. I'm just looking outside. I get distracted easily. But, and this is the best lighting too in, in our house. So I apologize if I keep looking off. But, um, anyway, so I thought like, oh, okay, you know, maybe it's, you know, this is a little odd, but maybe, you know, it's nothing. So maybe, you know, like I said, just the birth control, you know, my cycle, I'm trying to get used to what it was because my cycle was completely off after I stopped birth control. And if you guys have ever took take uh, uh, taken birth control before and you stopped or whatever, it takes a long time for your cycle um, to regulate again. So that was the first sign. The second sign, I had went back to work after that following Monday after we had got back from out of town. I had went back to work and I had noticed like my boobs were like really sore and really full filling. So that was the second sign that was very odd to me because for one, when I am like on my period or about to be on my period, my boobs never hurt. They're, like They never hurt. They never feel full, like nothing. I just have cramps. So I was thinking like, okay, this is pretty odd. Like maybe I could be pregnant, but I was just kind of in denial about it because I had taken pregnancy tests prior to you know everything like everything taking place up to then um like months before um i had found out i was pregnant and it always was negative so i was like you know i don't want to take a test and then get you know kind of sad because i'm not pregnant because we were kind of somewhat trying so yeah so that was like the second sign but i didn't want to really think like okay like maybe you're really pregnant you know what i mean so then um what are you messing with so then y'all um okay so that was the second sign i was at work my boobs started hurting just out of kind of like the blue and i was telling one of my co-workers i'm like you know my boobs are hurting like i haven't started my period and y'all i had mind you i had a period um a period tracker app that um kept track of my periods because I thought it was helpful to use because I was trying to, um, what are you messing with? So I was trying to get my cycle, you know, back on track, trying to keep track of my cycle because y'all, when you get off of birth control, your cycle, it takes like forever for your cycle to regulate again. And it's the most annoying thing because you can be bleeding one minute, you can be not bleeding one minute, it'd be brown discharge, you know, the whole nine yards. So it can take a little bit for your like up to a year or two for your cycle to just regulate again so um i just didn't want to get let me get down so yeah y'all so i just didn't want to get discouraged or feel like well dang you know i've already took tests it came out negative um because there were times where i felt like i was pregnant but i was just like in denial about it i didn't want to believe like okay I, I feel like I am, but I'm not pregnant. Like, I was just super in denial about the whole thing. So, I was telling my coworker anyways. I was like, yeah, my boobs are hurting. Like, I'm late on my period. Mind you, the period tracker app. Let me go back a little bit. The period tracker app told me around the time that I thought I was pregnant, I was 12 days late on my period. 12 days. Y'all, I have never been that late on my period. Like I said, if I was late, it was because of um, just a delayed and, you know, the birth control, trying to have my cycle regulate again um, by itself. And from the, um, my ovulation and all that was completely off. Like my ovulation days were completely off. So, I didn't really have like a, a scheduled period every month. So I was like, you know what? Let me download this period tracker app. And since we're somewhat trying to get pregnant. What, baby? Um, Y'all, I'm so sorry that I have to keep stopping this video and cutting this video. Because my son is not trying to let me film this video for y'all. But we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. So like I was saying anyways, because I'll be getting sidetracked. I think I was talking about when I had um, told my coworker. So, yeah. So, I told my coworker, I'm like, hey, like, I think I'm pregnant, but I'm not going to take a test yet because I did not want to get a negative. 
even when I wanted to be pregnant. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want to take a test and then it come out negative. And yeah, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just wait. So I actually didn't end up taking like a home pregnancy test or even getting um, a test at all from like CVS or the dollar store or whatever the case, um, Walgreens. I didn't even go get a test because I'm like, you know what? If I'm pregnant, like, I feel like I'm gonna be having a lot more symptoms than this, but I know that those are early signs of pregnancy. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna just let it play out. I'm gonna just wait. So that following Monday, I made an appointment with my um, primary care doctor because my boobs were just, they were getting more full and they were getting, they weren't really hurting, but they were very tender. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of odd. Um, I remember calling my mom, telling her about it, and I'm like, you know, my boobs are hurting. Like, I think I missed my period. Um, at the time, y'all, I was still having brown discharge, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't blood, like, at all. It wasn't period blood. So, I'm just thinking, like, hmm, like, you know, that's kind of odd. My mom was like, you're pregnant. Like, you're pregnant. Like, I know you're pregnant. You need to go to the doctor and figure out what's going on. Like, I'm telling you, like, you're pregnant. And I'm just like, no, I'm not pregnant. Like, maybe it's just you know, my boobs are hurting, you know, but I was thinking like, my boobs never hurt when I'm on my period. So, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, no, in my mind, I felt like a, a little teeny ounce of me knew I was pregnant, but I just didn't want to believe I was pregnant. Like I said, because I just didn't want to take a test and be happy about it and think I'm pregnant and, and then I'm not pregnant. If you ladies know about that, then, you know, it's a huge disappointment when you want to be pregnant and and then it comes out negative. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna schedule an appointment. So that day I actually had to work, but I think I actually called in to work. And um, I scheduled my appointment. Was I actually wasn't feeling good. Like, let me back up a little bit. So a few weeks before um, when I was actually out of town before I had to return back to work, we had went and ate chilies, I think. We had went to eat chilies and Y'all, I didn't even eat all of my food. I really didn't have an appetite. I actually felt kind of na like nauseous, but it just didn't spark me as like, okay, you know, like maybe I'm pregnant. Like I just didn't think that. So, so then fast forward to me telling the story, you know, about what we was just talking about. So, so I had went to my doctor, scheduled an appointment. I'm like, hey, my boobs are hurting. I don't know what's going on. I think I missed my period, not sure because I'm still having like brown discharge. So honestly, I'm not really sure. So they're like, okay, come in, we'll examine you, we'll take a look, whatever. So I ended up going in, I think this was like mid afternoon time when I had seen my doctor. And I scheduled an appointment um, with my primary care. I seen, I think I just, I think I seen the PA um, that day. And when I went in, she was like okay take off you know your shirt or whatever so we can you know examine your boobs or whatever like your breasts so i went in and she was like whoa like yeah you're very very full and i'm just like what do you mean like what does that mean and she was just like yeah you're full like you're you know like your boobs are huge or whatever and when she said that i was just like that made me think like okay like maybe, like maybe, sorry y'all, I'm looking at my son. So, <clears throat> all right, you see the camera? Okay y'all, so anyway, so when she did that, I was thinking like, okay, well maybe I am like, but y'all, y'all, y'all know when you're in denial about something, you want to believe it, but then you don't want to believe it. And it's like, you really know in your heart that you're really thinking that like some, like something that's, um, that's accurate, but you just don't want to believe it or whatever. So where are you going? So, yeah, so I was very in denial. I went by myself, but then my mom ended up coming up there with me because she worked just like literally right around the corner from my doctor's office. So she was like, I'm coming up there like on my lunch, blah, 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 if you're still there. Um, so she took a pregnancy test. She was like, well, do you think you may be pregnant? And I was like, I could be, but I'm honestly not sure because at the time I was still like 
having brown discharge and I know that's a part of you know your menstrual cycle plus like I said I had just got off of birth control like you know a while ago prior to me um yeah prior to me you know trying to conceive or whatever and it was just odd so she came up there and she's like you think you could be pregnant or the doc or the PA said, Do you think you could be pregnant? We'll do a pregnancy test. So I was like, Okay, yeah, that's cool. So mind you, y'all, when she looked at my boobs, or when I even looked at my boobs, like they had so many like blue veins in them. They were just so full. And I was thinking to myself before I even went, I was like, you know what? You could be pregnant, girl, because your boobs never do this. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, my boobs grew, like they were literally full. And at the time, I was thinking, like, man, I could be, but I was just so in denial. I just kept thinking, like, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's this, maybe this is, I don't know, y'all. I just was thinking a whole bunch of different stuff. So, okay. So, yeah, y'all. So, then she came back in. We was taking the, She took the pregnancy test, and I'm pretty sure they just do, like, a um, basic you know pregnancy tests like they do any other time so she came in we were wait well we were waiting for the test to come back i was sitting there with my mom my mom had came and we were just kind of like you know like nervous and stuff and i was she was like you know you're pregnant bride like i just know you're pregnant i know you're pregnant and i guess that's just kind of like a mom's sense or intuition or whatever you know she was just like i know you're pregnant like i just know it and I was like, nah, like, I'm not pregnant. Like, I just don't think I am. Like, it could be this, this, and this. So she came back in, and she had her laptop. And I remember her just turning her laptop towards me. And she was like, like, just turned it. <laughs> and she started smiling, and it said pregnant. And I was just, like, lost for words, y'all. I was just, like, so shocked. I was so surprised. I wasn't really surprised, but if you know, if you're just now coming off of birth control and you're trying to conceive after you get off birth control it's very hard to conceive like they even tell you like the doctors and stuff if you inquire about it you know the doctor told me well not the doctor but my ob that i seen um prior um she had told me like you know once you get off birth control it can take up to a year for you to get pregnant so i'm just like you know like it's just kind of like a bummer because it's like you want to conceive, but it's just like, you know, the timing and everything like that. So I was just nervous. I was shocked. I was surprised. I was happy, of course. I just couldn't really believe it. Like it didn't sink in like right away. Like I was just like, okay, like, you know, she was talking to me about, you know, prenatal pills, getting prenatal pills. Like, oh, do you have prenatal pills already? Like, you, if you don't, you'd want to get those. You know, you want to schedule an appointment with an OB, which I already had an OB doctor. But at the time, I never seen my OB doctor when I had her. I just seen her PA because I was just going in there just to check up, like, on my, um, my cycle, ovulation, like, all that stuff that the doctor really doesn't handle unless, you know, you, you're pregnant and, you know, you have to see her for a visit. So... Um, so I already had an OB already. I just not, had never seen her. But when I was pregnant, I obviously scheduled an appointment with her and I started seeing her. So so then I scheduled an appointment. We left, all that good stuff. It still hadn't sinked, sunk in. Yeah, sunk in. Um, it still hadn't sunk into me yet that I was pregnant. I was still like shocked. And of course I was happy, but I was just shocked. Like, whoa, like I'm actually finally pregnant. Like okay like you know so so after that um i believe when i went in and i found out i was pregnant i think i was four or six weeks i'm really not sure y'all i'm so bad with remembering like the actual like um how far along she said i was i think i was either four or six weeks um <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm so sorry about that. I have to keep getting my son situated. But so as the story goes on, so I was about four or six weeks. I'm not sure exactly how far along I was, y'all. So I'm not sure on that for sure because it was so long ago. But I was either four or six weeks. I think I may have been six um, because actually my the PA that I seen, she was telling me like, oh, 
um, schedule an appointment with your OB. So I scheduled an appointment with the OB doctor and they don't do ultrasounds. Well, at least mine doesn't until you're 10 weeks. So I honestly, I was probably about six weeks. I'm not for sure, but I think I was probably six weeks. So when I went in, that's when I found out I was pregnant. I was six weeks pregnant. And then I scheduled an appointment with my OB, my OB seeing me at the 10 week mark um, for the ultrasound, got an ultrasound to confirm all that good stuff, went in there and yeah, so we did the ultrasound and then I don't know when the next time she seen me, I forgot, maybe I was like 13 weeks or something like that when the next appointment or something like that was. But the first week of my ultrasound, I was 10 weeks pregnant and that's just to confirm, you know, basically, you know, if you're really pregnant or not. So got that done and y'all let me tell you when i was about eight weeks pregnant so this was before my ultrasound i literally started having like y'all this piece right here is getting on my nerves but i immediately started having like the feeling of sickness right away like literally like prior to you know me finding out officially i was pregnant i had a few like like nauseous feelings like when I would eat something but it wasn't nothing too major to where before I knew I was pregnant I thought I was pregnant so I was actually having these signs or symptoms early on but I just I didn't know that that you know that's what that was for so I feel like immediately after I found out maybe like a week or two let like later like around eight weeks pregnant I literally started to feel sick all the time like it was so bad to where it was like all day sickness okay so first let me mind y'all so when I found out I was pregnant I was working at a doctor's office as a receptionist I quit that job because they were not un understanding of my pregnancy like as far as like when I tell y'all I would get my first of all I get migraines all the time anyway I have since I was little um I've always gotten what baby <clears throat> y'all he keep wanting me to pick him up but um so y'all gonna see him like in and out of the video but um <laughs> so mind you I had I was working at a doctor's office um around the time that I knew I was I was pregnant I had conceived you know when I had started that new job I was only there for probably about six to eight months before I actually quit and the reason why I actually quit which I may do a story time on that so I'm not gonna go into like detail about that um but I ended up quitting there and um I was getting migraines y'all like literally every day I already get migraines as it is so it was even worse for me because it was all day, like all day sickness, like waking up with the migraine, going to sleep with the migraine, having migraines all day at work. I was working as a receptionist. So, you know, the, the lights that are at the top, you know, whenever you walk in, there's lights at the top where you're sitting. That was making my migraine so much worse. And I just didn't want to be there to the point where I was so miserable. I'm just like, something has to give, like something has to be done. So, I'm, I'm, I might do a story time on that, actually. I might. Let me know in the comments if you want a story time on that, on why I quit that job. But, so I ended up, actually, I ended up getting a new job, like, right away. So, the job that I work at now. So, I mean, I bounced back yeah. real quick. But, at the time, I had started a new job, right? So, um, when I was pregnant, this was... So at the time I was pregnant, I was starting a new job. I had just started a new job. Shh. Sorry, y'all. But I had just started a new job. He loves playing with my hair, y'all. Um, just started a new job. Got there, was in training. Okay, so the training class I think was six weeks or four weeks. Four to six weeks, something around that matter. I really honestly don't know because it was a while ago. Like I've literally been at stop. Can you stop? I literally been at that job for um it'll be two years in june which is just one more month so i've been working there quite some time but i don't really remember how long the training uh class was i think it was four weeks or six weeks or something like that so you saying hi you saying hi <laughs> yeah my son's so goofy so yeah so i started working there i was in training at the time 
I was sick as heck, probably like my second week into, second or third week into training. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. Like, when I say, when the time, from the time I got up, y'all, to the time I went to bed, like, got off work and everything was all day sickness. Like, my sickness immediately, my baby, my sickness immediately kicked in right away. What, baby? Why are you pulling mommy's hair? So, my sickness had immediately kicked in, y'all. Like, to where I was so sick, so miserable throughout that whole training course. Hi, baby. Say hi. <laughs> you hype, baby? You hype? Y'all, my son be so hyper. I don't know. How I be doing it, but I be doing it. Can you sit down? So yeah, y'all, back onto the story. I keep getting sidetracked. But um so anyway, y'all. Ooh, cover your mouth, baby. So he, he be doing these little fake coughs on purpose. Stop doing that fake cough. <laughs> Here. So anyway, y'all. So anyways, y'all, I keep saying anyways, but anyways, so I was so miserable from the first, from the first week to probably like to the first or second week to the end of our training class. I was sick as heck. Move. Come here. Come here. Come here. So I was sick as heck. Um, miserable as hell. It was just horrible for me. I was having dizzy spells. I would get dizzy out of nowhere. I was getting super hot, like super, super hot flashes out of nowhere. I would feel like I'm about to pass out out of nowhere. Um, blood pressure was probably sky high because that just runs in my family. But I never really, like, my, my blood pressure was actually, like, pretty normal, like, when I would go to my appointments. But, like, being there... Oh my gosh, it was so terrible. I would run to the bathroom all the time, throw up. I even had like one of the coworkers like, or not my coworker, but one of somebody who works there. I didn't actually know who it was, but I was in the bathroom one day at work. I was still in training class. And I remember going to the, no, no, don't even touch it. Y'all, he's trying to touch my little tripod ring light stick thingy. Don't touch it. Move. Come here. Come here. Come here. So, um, so yeah, y'all. So I even had like one, like a girl, like I was throwing up in the bathroom in the stall, and I even had like this girl um was like, Do you do I need to call help for you? And I'm like, girl, no, I'm just pregnant. Like I literally just said, Leave it alone. I'm like, y'all, I'm just pregnant, like, I mean, not y'all. But I told her I'm like, no, it's okay, like I'm just pregnant, I'm I'm sick as heck, whatever. So I was super sick to the point where, mind you guys, I was new. So most jobs are not that, should I say, um, what is it called? I'm trying to think of the word. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but most jobs are not that um, flexible when it comes to if you are pregnant and you're sick and... Um, like, if you need to be off, especially if you're new, you know what I mean? So, my job, actually, like, my trainer, she was so nice, so, so, so nice, still is nice to this day. Um, I'm not going to mention her name or anything, but she was so nice, and I just remember being in training and just being miserable as heck, like, having to leave work because I was so sick to where I couldn't even sit through my training class periods. They were eight hours, so it was eight to five, I think, something like that. And uh, Monday through Friday, so, oh my gosh, it was hell trying to get through that training class. Um, but she was so nice to where she was like, um, you know, our job offers, you know, this, um, like, leave of absence type deal to where even if you're new, no matter really what the case is, you can open up, like, a case um, and really just depending on, you know, how, what your diagnosis is or whatever, um, you can basically get time off work and it be excused, like, you know, an excused absence. 
So she was like, you know what? I'm going to give you their number. One day it was in the middle of training class to where I just started breaking down. Because I'm like, at this point, I just don't know what else to do. Like, I don't know what else to do. I'm so sick. I can't get through this training class. You know, I don't want to get fired because I'm new and I'm in training. I just started this job. Like, y'all, like that was my first thing on my mind was like, I'm not trying to get fired. I'm not trying to get fired. I just started this new job. Like, I need this job, you know? So, I'm like, I got to figure out something. So, she came to me. Move, baby. She came to me and she was like, call this number. Like, they'll take care of you. Let them know what's going on. You're pregnant. You know, you're really, really sick. Um, which, obviously, it's normal to be sick when you're pregnant. Um, don't touch that, baby. So, obviously, it's, sick. it's normal to be sick when you're pregnant, right? But my sickness, y'all, was on the whole. What? What? Here, sit down. But y'all, my sickness was on like a whole nother level of sickness. Like when I tell you, I can't even really describe how bad my sickness was. Like it was, it was just so bad. So anywho, she called, she lets me know. She's like, call this number. They'll get you taken care of to where, you know, if you need to miss work, you, you can miss work, you know, for this or whatever. So I called them. They just needed documentation from my doctor. I was obviously keeping my doctor in the loop about what was going on. I was already getting migraines, y'all. So, like, I already, I'm, I've already been diagnosed with getting migraines. I have since I was little. My family members get migraines. It's nothing new. But to have a migraine all day long, like, waking up with them literally every single day. Like, it started off with the headache. And then it was getting worse as, like, to a migraine. If you guys have never had a migraine before girl like you you just don't know the severity of a migraine like it's nothing like a headache so it lit like you literally just want to sleep in a dark room all day long and not wake up until your migraine is gone so so they got me hooked up with that like i said my doctor had already um was already in the clue already in the know about what was going on to where i like i told her i was waking up with migraines every day going to sleep with migraines every day um being sick all day throwing up couldn't keep anything down nothing whatsoever so um she ended up diagnosing me with hyperemesis i think that's how you pronounce it um I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can just know what that is. Um, I'll try to get like the description of what it actually is. But it's basically where you have all day sickness but worse. Like pregnancy sickness but 10 times worse. So she ended up diagnosing me with that. And um, I got my paperwork, submitted it through my job. And so I was able to, you know, call in basically whenever I needed to. Um, I believe they gave me like three days off three or four days off um, during the week. So that helped me a lot because, you know, it it basically um, helps me whenever I was like on medication or, you know, whatever, if I needed to rest or just whatever, it came in handy and I wasn't gonna get in trouble for it. So, so I basically let my trainer know like, hey, I got this started. You know, they were very, very supportive the whole nine. She was like, you know, telling me how her daughter had kind of like the same thing when she was pregnant with her son and you know so she could relate to you know what I was going through and it wasn't like it was being over exaggerated like oh you know it's just pregnancy sickness so you know like oh just get over it like you know you'll get over it no y'all like this was something I never want to experience again if I do end up having another child like I hope my next pregnancy is so much more smoother um because y'all it was terrible it was so bad i couldn't get out of bed at all like whenever i would go into work if i would go in i would go in and i would leave like early during the day you know once i started feeling sick i would literally eat some cereal like that's literally the only thing i could eat was lucky charms that's all that i could eat was lucky charms couldn't eat no real food no meats no soups no nothing i would literally throw it up and so by the time I got home, I would eat cereal, I would take a shower or bath, and then I would literally go to sleep. Like literally, that would be my day, my everyday routine, literally. So y'all, it was terrible. So they ended up diagnosing me with that and um, to where I was able to get off. Um, let's see, what else did we not cover? Um, so y'all, so then, okay, so y'all, I gave y'all my signs and all that stuff. So then... I ended up getting, this was probably like 
midway through my pregnancy. I'm not sure how far along I was, to be honest, you guys. But I just remember, like, everything that happened when I was pregnant and, you know, what I had to go through. So, they ended up diagnosing me with that. Um, I would have to go into the hospital, get um, IVs, get fluids all the time because I was super, super, back up, back up. So I was super, super dehydrated. Even though I was drinking fluids, I was still very dehydrated. Um, go play with your toys. Go play with your toys. Look, go play with that. Look. Y'all, my son is looking like, what are you pointing at? But there's like some, like a little dartboard thing that he can play with. So y'all, so anyways, um, they ended up diagnosing me with that. Um, long story short, I ended up having to go into the hospital, get IVs, get fluids because I was so dehydrated. On top of that, I lost so much weight my first trimester. Probably like my first and second trimester. Towards the end, obviously, I started gaining weight towards the end because they kind of had it regulated. I was on tons of different medications um, to help me, you know, eat and all that stuff. So... I started gaining weight towards the end, but I was losing weight, which I've heard is actually pretty normal in your first and like second trimester to lose weight um, just because of, you know, if you're sick or whatever the case. Um, so, yeah, y'all. So, I ended up having to go into the hospital. I actually got admitted into the hospital um, because I was not like not dehydrated but i was very dehydrated i remember like my blood levels and stuff being super low um i couldn't eat anything whatsoever like anything i would come in contact with i would just throw it up throw it up throw it up to where i was not eating nothing like i would tell like my ob doctor i'm like because she's like well you know are you able to eat foods and i'm like um only uh cereal like that's it and she's like uh no honey like i'm gonna need you to try to eat some more and I'm like I try like I literally try and it's like as soon as it hit the back of my throat it just came up like it was so terrible um so I, I had to be admitted I was only admitted for like I think I think I was in there for two days I think um until like I started to feel better I was so weak didn't have no energy couldn't go anywhere with my family nothing whatsoever no family events no nothing people will call me like call me up like hey are you coming to you know this this function or whatever this family function I'm like I'm gonna try to come but then when I would come I would just or when I would go or if I'm about to get ready it was like I would get ready and then like my energy level would just drop and I'm just like I just can't go like it would be so terrible y'all so that ended up happening um I was sick all the way up until I delivered literally the day that I went into um, labor, um, which was actually during the day, so I had time to get ready and all that stuff, um, and actually plan because I had a feeling that I knew I was going into labor. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check that out on my channel. It's like the third video on my channel, I believe. Um, go check that out. Um, but so as actually the day, um, my mom-in-law, she actually went and got me some McDonald's. She's like, you want some McDonald's? And I was like, y'all, I don't eat McDonald's, but I was like, you know what, whatever. Like, I'm hungry, and shoot, I'm about to try to eat this today. Like, I'm about to try to eat this today. So, even though I had a feeling like, I'm going to just throw it up anyway. Like, literally. I Like, that's how my thought process was. I was just like, you know what, I'm about to eat this, and then I'll probably end up throwing it up, which is so freaking disgusting. I hated throwing up. Uh, it just, I hated it. But long story short, the day I went into labor, she got some McDonald's. She brought me some McDonald's and I literally threw that up. Like literally within two seconds of eating it, I probably took two or three bites of my burger, ate some fries and threw it up like literally. So I was literally sick from the time that I actually really found out I was pregnant to the very, to the whole, to the end. And y'all, it was so terrible. I really honestly don't wish that type of sickness on anybody let alone having to deal with like the nauseous and throwing up mind you guys even smells which obviously is very common when you're pregnant um smells like you know um like the scented wax melts those would make me sick those would make me throw up um it was just literally any and everything would make me sick like to my stomach to where i would just throw up um obviously 
towards the end when I started taking um, like nausea pills, pregnancy, uh, I was on like nausea pills, like the dissolvable ones. And then they had me taking um, some of these pregnancy pills. I forgot what they are, but they're for nausea too. And um, I was taking those, I think before, twice a day, I think, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. I could be wrong, but it was something like that to keep like the nausea away. And that actually did start to help. Um, it wasn't as bad. I was starting to, I was able to get out more and all that good stuff, but it was still there. Like I was still super sick. So um, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to share my experience and my story with um, being pregnant. If you or you know somebody who was like me and was having the all day sickness, comment below leave a comment below or if you yourself you know have went through that um with any of your pregnancies um let me just say too a lot of people were telling me like oh my gosh you're so sick like you're gonna have a girl you're gonna have a girl like we already know like you know you're sick that's like the i guess like the um i don't even know what i'm trying to what word i'm trying to look for but i guess that's like the saying like if you're sick you know, you're having a girl. If you're not sick, you're having a boy or whatever. But no, it was the complete opposite, y'all. So don't even believe that because it really honestly just depends on you. So, and every pregnancy is different. Every pregnancy is not going to be the same. Um, I had a boy and I was sick my whole entire pregnancy. So let me know what your guys' experiences were down below in the comments. Like if you had a boy, were you sick or was it the opposite? You know, whatever. I just would want to know, you know um what your guys experiences were but I just thought I would share that with you guys um because like I said I had did a pregnancy um breastfeeding how that was experience and my labor and delivery video um that got a lot of views so I was thinking you know what let me make an ex a, a video on my experience of me being pregnant um so yeah y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up my son is starting to get very antsy so without um i was about to say without further ado y'all i don't know i was about to say that but um don't forget to like comment subscribe down below guys uh, make sure to hit that notification bell whenever i do upload so you don't miss a video and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys really enjoy this video let me know if you want me to do a story time on how i quit that other job that i was talking about not too long ago um how why i quit that job um and kind of like the reasons behind why i quit that job let me know in the description box i've really or not the description box y'all but in the comments below let me know if you guys would want to see a story time on that but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here now so like i said subscribe to my channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video